One possible cure for couples heading for divorce in the Times, Leo, and that's a patch that restores the ladies' sex drive. Yes, yeah, so a testosterone patch for women in the menopause is a life changer and is going to be available soon in the UK. Uh, so testosterone is an essential hormone for women as well as Hollywood beefcakes, yeah. and its production drops heavily after the menopause. Uh, so you can already get oestrogen and progesterone hormones as patches that you just mm. stick on your arm. Uh, so now they're going to they're going to provide it as a patch testosterone as a patch you know pre- yeah. up, up until now women have been using these gels which provide an irregular supply they're not designed for, for menopausal women uh, and Britain apparently is going to be one of the first countries in the world to get access to these patches so we're going to get a lot of uh, horny middle aged women I'm highly delighted about that middle aged women it's, it's going to turn GB news around isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think good luck to them I mean I would say yeah. I don't I mean I'm sure these things will get tested but broadly speaking if you can extend the period during which there's something to live for <laughs> that doesn't seem a bad thing, does it? I imagine testosterone must have been tested a lot, just because science tends to oh, test yeah. on men first because yeah. it's easier to do the to re, uh, do the results. That's, you how, have it, something that's else. how it got its name. I suppose it's, it's, it's yeah. I suppose it's the the patch rather the delivery system rather than the, the I mean the hormone itself definitely yeah. is. Mm. I, th- I think that is the funny thing though, isn't it? That testosterone is a highly uh, what's the word uh, contentious subject. There are, there are quite a few best selling books and some of them have won science prizes and so on about. Just just how important it is in, in determining human behaviour. Mm. And they do tend to focus on whether or not it drives male supremacy. You know, that's the big question. Mm. Right. Have all the, the, the top jobs in government and uh, empire building and flying jets and so on all been, you know, oh, I'm sorry, ladies, just... I mean, we all know about upper body strength yeah. and why you can't be a female... Well, explains Nicola Sturgeon. Yeah. <laughs>